Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a little bit of uh, kind of 3D art that was inspired by me, M double I paintings. She is a lovely um, artist and does lots of 3D work. Uh, I think her name is Veronica, but it's a, a my painting, M I I paintings. So that's who's inspired me. So I've seen lots of paintings that I think can be improved by the lovely um, 3D effect. So this is what I'm doing today. This was one I've been working on, um, trying to get, you know, sort of a nicer, crisper effect on my circles. But um, I actually didn't film myself. I did film this original pour, so I'll have to have a look right through my videos when I film the original pour. And then I've just been um, sort of playing with this one toying with it so then I'll swap over to the other pour that I did um, that I put up on my YouTube channel yesterday or a few days ago so I will link that particular pour from the original so what I'm using are acrylic uh, well actually they're whiteboard markers because if you make a mistake you can get them off so there's some are acrylic paint pens and some are whiteboard mark pens um, and you will see what I do with those further in a minute for this particular one I've just used different size cups for my circles and as you can see and just merrily go along and um, randomly go along but just be careful you don't do the extra um, marker into where you don't want it so you've got to be a bit mindful because I I did it a few times so I am trying to kind of make them look as though they're floating there on that um, phalo blue background So this was the pour that I did a couple of days ago and I have put the video up with all intention of kind of doing some 3D effect through it. So this particular one I'm going to mix up, I'm going to do, use that little block that I've got there for my focus on the good as my square floaters and I am also going to use some cups as circle floaters 3D. So I just think it just adds a little bit, you know, to the painting or some may disagree and think the painting looks better without them. Um, if I am going to do, um, yeah, some other kind of 3D effects, as I said, I've been inspired by me paintings and I'm just, I just think it's a lovely pastime to kind of uh, relax and and do these extra bits to your work so I'm just going around at the minute I think that particular one is an alcohol um, pe uh, marker so you will see shortly what I do with the um, to get more a bit more better effect in there but I'm still learning these are only my first few paintings that I've ever tried this particular effect so I'm learning along with you <coughs> excuse me and hopefully that I improve with it um, but it's just something else to uh, certainly saves a pore that you're not that happy with and it can certainly enhance a pore that you are happy with
as you can see, um, my circles and squares are coming along quite nicely. I've done a bit of shading in there. I will get in to show you how I've done that extra bit of shading um, using, I actually using alcohol spray. So I will show you shortly. Um, but yeah, it's just basically shading in, there you go, out isopol. So you spray it on your where you've done your pet marker pen then you get that little brush with the um, angled edge I'm not sure what you call <laughs> call those particular brushes um, and then the alcohol spray brings your ink back to life again sort of so you can work with it and soften it or spread it and use it to shade as you see in the ones I've already done it's just shading it so it looks a bit stands out a bit from the actual artwork. Uh, the previous one I did in a, another video, I painted all around my squares and circle. Uh, no, it was circles. I just paint, blocked them all in with black around, but I'm not going to block these in. I'm just kind of wanting them to look as though they're floating there uh, with the my particular art in the background and, and those shapes are just floating. It's just a, another 3D effect. It's just adding something, I believe, to your work. So it's what you enjoy doing. And um, I found this quite relaxing to do. So I hope you do too. Yeah, I mean, certainly let me know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed that bit of a change for me and you want to give it a go on one of your pours and don't forget of our Australian acrylic pouring group. I have a link in the description below. Um, you can, um, if you haven't already joined, please do so. It's open worldwide, not just Australia, but you can join there and then you can show me your work and your efforts, if, especially if you have a go at this. Love to see it. Um, we've got some moderators on our group and uh, take care that everybody's doing the right thing and it's all about your acrylic art. So there's the two pieces. So anyway, please have a good holiday if you're having a holiday and um, take care of yourself. Absolutely take care. 
I will hopefully improve on this particular technique over time. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. So bye for now.